Hi guys, Gary, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the lockdown locks. Yeah, as we already know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, time for a new video. Before we get started, I'd just like to um, say thanks to Phil. Phil's the, one of our loyal, regular customers. He owns the Mark III Focus RS. He's just done a latest um, final video uh, on what's been going on with his and the build that we've done, etc., etc. And um, well, I don't need to tell you. You know, you can just watch the video if you haven't watched it already, uh, viewers, and then you'll be uh, you'll be able to take it all in. What he said, very very professional. We came across really really well, and done us proud on the channel. All right, so many more to come from Phil, viewers. All right, um, the car will be coming back to me within the next four weeks to do post checks, as he said. We're going to be, and then I'll share with you all the post checks, and I'll also share with you what we're going to be the next phase of that car. It's got lots of phases to do on that one. All right, so um, anyway, let's um, move away from uh, talking about fills and let's have a look and see what we've got in front of us today. Yeah. All right, so we're quite, uh, it's quite exciting actually to, um, with, you know, what's going on at the moment. All right, um, so we have a new customer come in to us, okay, um, and it's in for some upgrades, okay. Um, as you can see on the floor there, Timmy, all right. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be as you can see fitting the mail tech. Yeah. GPF back here. Yeah? Yep. Let's not say the cat word. Uh, yeah. So you had to think about that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. There's a little pause there. GPF back. Three ball rear motor mount. Okay. As you can see, this is a quite a good upgrade. Yep. That top one. And uh, SPS switch, of course. All right, it's got all the polished tips on it, and then we're going to be installing the Revo Stage One software, which is pretty awesome on these. Live and right up, you know, really, you can have a fun drive on the way back, that's for sure. All right, so um, we'll um, we'll get into it, and then we'll, um, we'll bring you along in uh, to speak as we're as we're doing things. All right, so see you soon. All right, moving to the underside of the. Uh, Mark 8 ST, as you can see, stock exhaust on at the moment. It does have the valve on it already, which will be switching the remote um, the motor over onto that one. It's got the extended little balloon bit. Alright, um, yeah, so we'll sort of like cut it here. Alright, so that, that is at any time going to be reused, which means we just leave it there and then we'll cut it somewhere about here, I suppose, somewhere like that. Um, and then that can be reused. Alright, so obviously we'll drop these down. Drop that one down, the little cross plate there. Um, cut it to suit. Obviously, you've got your GPF there, look. Yeah. Um, yeah, get all that fitted off. Rear motor mount, which is here. So that's your standard LE1, which is stock, all rubber. Obviously, it gives it a little bit more rebound. And when you're starting to put a bit more power and torque for them, you want to stop that. You don't want that engine and gearbox jumping around so much because you're just losing. Uh, power and torque, which is you know, the, the object of the exercise, is to try and um, you know stop losing it. All right. So here we are. Now. So, to me. So, this is the the billet Reva one. Really, really nice bit of kit. Okay, got the polyurethane brushes in it. We've got some in here with most polyurethane. All pretty much the same. Um, got one. One unit, which is what I like about that, is none of this like use the old one, you know, make two halves and all that sort of stuff. When you've got to, you know, put it all together, it's good. FPS switch, which is we always recommend to go with any Rebo software tune, purely because it gives you adjustability. Right on this particular one, you'll get anti theft. You can switch between different fuel maps, um, which is really really cool. If you didn't have that, and also. If for some unknown reason, just say you battery went flat, all right? So although the Revo software will always stay on the ECU, that will never drop off, okay? It might revert back to like a uh, stock side of things um, with regards to your power and torque. So if you've got the SPS switch, you don't need to be coming back to me, a dealer. You can, the SPS switch will load back up the data Okay, so that's why it becomes, you know, for 99 pound plus fat, it's a, it's a no brainer really. Okay, so we always recommend, um, I don't think I've ever 
No, I, I think all the software upgrades that I've ever done with Rego, across the board, is all, I've all, they've always had an SPS switch because I just think it makes sense, that's all. All right, but um, yeah, so I'll leave you to crack on with it, Timmy. We'll take loads of pictures and do a bit of a slideshow as well. And then we'll talk more about when we've got the exhaust on in the rear motor mount and when we're doing the software. But these really do go well, viewers, all right? Um, not just saying it because I'm a Revo dealer, it's superb, really, really good. All right, I can't, you know, I can't comment on anybody else's um, upgrades, what they're doing. Uh, I'll need to be focusing on what I'm doing. And the Revo side of it is superb, all globally tested, right, no issues at all, and really lively. Now, I mean, you're talking about another 50 horsepower, up to another 50 brake. Sometimes, you know, some of them have seen a bit more than that. Um, and, you know, the, the, the newton meters are taught to match, okay, and, do your homework on on the Revo side of it, which this customer has, and you'll be very, very impressed. All right, so um, yeah, let's crack on. Right, just part of the uh, upgrades are done. So first and foremost, the Revo rear motor mount. All right, and ah, right, there it is. Right, so effectively, that's real one nut. All right, so you can tell that it's, as we said when we talked about it before, required when it was in position, it's just normal rubber, that deteriorates and whereas, but even with it being as new, because this is a 19 plate vehicle, you still get quite a bit of flex and movement as well. So you can imagine putting more power and torque and load on that, moving on that engine gearbox, it's going to want to do this more and this more. All right, so the Regal one, as we said, all billet, polyurethane brushes, that, limits that and limits the wheel hop as well because again with this moving around it's going to create more move let's say more flex when you're on it you get a bit more wheel hop all right so boost in that. Um, yeah gps back put around here that's heavy all done um with the uh valve all sorted out somewhere at the back to me we tested it on normal mode Bounce shut and then we sport mode in track mode and uh, it changed that harness that you get for the valve controller, the motor, uh, wasn't in the first ones. So the first one we've got a few of these now, it didn't come with that so it was a little bit stretched, you have to sort of like manipulate it a bit to get a bit more bit of give there, but obviously they you know it's just a something that they get the feedback they get and they've introduced a little harness which gives you a bit more length that's all. Alright, so um yeah, so next day you just get the other tray back on. You get a few little seepages there, but that's just normal once it does a heat cycle when it warms up and expands. It'll be down stop and what. Um, yeah, then we'll load up the Regal software and then we'll, uh, we'll go and have a play to me, innit? Yep. Exactly. So that's all done. All right. So now we're um, rear all is done. As you showed you uh, not long ago. So now we're installing the Revo software. So first, what we have to do is Revo require a superseded stock file, which is what we're putting on at the moment. And various you know, uh, revisions to it, and then we'll roll on the Revo stage one software after that. But um, yeah, so. It's a bit of a waiting game for this, it's because you've got to completely reconfigure it, okay? So, um, effectively, you've got to do it twice. Normally, it'd just be one install superseded stock file, but not just on these. Um, you know, a lot of the new stuff does it, but um, they need an ST2G5s, you know, the Mark II focus. Some of them need a superseded stock file put on if it's not had reboot software before. So, yeah. So, we will continue to be continued. We will check the SPS configuration to make sure everything's working on there. On this particular setup, right on the Revo SPS switch, we can right on there for the customers. All right, everyone's, these are different. These are pretty much like the RT330 setup, all right? So 
basically for their surface plan three, one to four. All right, so what that does, that corresponds to, so there's your FPS switch. You know, what's all looking back into the OBD port, yeah? Doesn't stay in there, obviously once it's communicated, take it out, treat that like a key. All right, so, you know, what I say to customers is for 99 pound plus that, you know, you can't need car more than 99 pound plus that because it's a, it's anti theft through the software, it's not an immobilizer as such. Right, so um, really, really good bit of kit. All right, so we can program these to this W programming because it's uh, sort of like plug and play to suit it to the car. But um, other types like SD25, Mark II Focus RS, then yes, you can have to read the figure from the boost and the value mode and blah blah blah. All right, so um, but yes, yeah, so on this particular one, so what would be your anti theft? Okay, so basically, ignition on, in it goes. It'll chirp a bit, maybe play a little tune, good, done, that's it. You like that, yeah. Yep. Um, two will be your, uh, there's three seconds of fuel on this, so, so two will be your 95 wrong fuel. So, for example, if you uh, like going to supermarkets and get any fuel, run out on that. Not recommended, alright, I'm not <laughs> going to recommend that, but if you did get stuck somewhere and you thought, I'm in the middle of uh, uh, an area where I kind of get access to high octane, then Put the 95 in it, put it on to number two, and it will recognise that. The software will, you know, reconfigure it to suit 99 one fuel, right? That's 97, obvious uh, example there, BP, that's 97, right? Uh, and then if you click it to number four, that will be your 100 octane. Now you can run that on, it'll be looking for 100 octane. Run it on the 99 V power on that, that's what I'll be running that on, all right? So, different options there for different customers depending on you might not like Shelby Park, you might be a customer who loves BP and that's a great one on number three. Right? You might be you might be a supermarket dude. And then uh you know, choose your number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. So anyway, so what we're gonna do now is um we're gonna go out and um, put that uh, back in the box there to me for a sec we'll um we're going we're gonna check that. Right, so then we're going to do some data logging. Right, we've got all our data logging information. But this is the data logging that we will supply to dealers so that we can check all the parameters and all the data that says data logging to make sure it's doing what it should be doing. Alright, so which it always does. So this is just you know, just a format really of what we do as part of the service. Alright, so we shall crack on and do that. You can have a little walk around here, that's a bit quickly. Well, it does run in. Um, obviously, we've got our number plate on the rear there. That ties the you know, customer's identity. It doesn't want to be uh, really advertising that, doesn't it? Um, but as you see, tail points all nice. We'll give it a little blip. Now, we carry both of the types, we carry the small one, which is passed into the side badge really, and the big one, which is the larger one. All right, so we've just cleaned that area off there. All right, and um, finishing touch, yeah? Yep. Close on the cake, yeah? It's quite good, actually, because it sits quite well here. You don't really need to be too much of a... So it sits really well underneath the S, yeah? And it's yep. proper 3M you know, double-sided tape on the back of that, so, and in this weather, it ain't going to take very long to, uh, so, I don't think that's going to be branching down the road due to me. No. Hang on a second. You got it. <coughs> 
Yeah. There we are. So usual thing, guys. Um, you know the if you follow us on the uh, on our channel. You know the routine. So comments down below. You know, like. Most importantly, subscribe. Okay, and ring that uh, ring bell, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Uh, there's plenty more content to come. I mean, we just thought we'd do this new because it's um, quite exciting. I've been mean, marketing. Um, they're starting to get a bit more popular now. All right, so um, yeah, that's it. So see you soon. Thank you.